Okay, now we're going to be able to use these trig values to find all the sides and some things about these triangles out. So first off, let's look at this here. By the Pythagorean theorem, I know I can find the hypotenuse, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Take the two legs, those are both legs. 3 squared plus 4 squared makes 9 plus 16, which will make 25, which will make the square root of 25 for c, meaning your answer is 5. So I know first off that the hypotenuse is 5, okay? The hypotenuse is 5. All right, now, here's what we're going to use. Using these trig functions, we're going to see as samples. So first off, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Notice they're kind of color coordinated. So it should tell you that the if this is my theta, this is the opposite. So I'm going to have four fifths. That's all there is to it. So cosine, if it's adjacent over hypotenuse, what do you think it's going to be? Those that said three fifths, you're correct. Now we have tangent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So I'm going to have 4 over 3. And now we have what we call the reciprocals. Cosecant, well, that's hypotenuse over opposite. So instead of 4 fifths, it's 5 fourths. Secant's going to be the cosine flipped. So it would be 5 thirds. And the last one there, cotangent, adjacent over the opposite, is going to be 3 fourths. That's just using it to find the six trig functions, how they are fine to use all of them. Let's do another one with a